I think intrinsic value in the traditional sense is probably the wrong way to think about it because with, with Bitcoin, maybe there's a new form of intrinsic value and it's just the intrinsic properties that it has. And maybe verifiable digital scarcity is a new form of intrinsic value or utility, just not something that's physical in the traditional sense. And, and that's where, where people struggle a lot. So that's probably my, my answer to that is that yeah. cash flows or other intrinsic industrial demand don't apply to Bitcoin, but that doesn't mean that it can't have value. It doesn't mean that Bitcoin is just the greater fool's theory, like a lot of people say, where oh, Bitcoin only has value because people think somebody else will buy it at a higher price in the future. It's like, no, Bitcoin has value because nobody can create more of it. And I can exchange my time and energy for it now, having analyzed this thing and understanding that it has by far the best monetary properties of anything that humanity has ever seen. Mm -hmm. and. I'm able to stomach the volatility, but I'm pretty sure that it will maintain my value into the future and probably even go up in purchasing power terms 